It's 24 light years across, a swirling canvas of pinks and purples, glowing like a cosmic painting. Inside, stars are being born right now, their light traveling thousands of years before it will ever reach Earth. Now Saturn, the jewel of the solar system, its rings, stretching thousands of kilometers wide, are made of icy fragments, some as small as sand, others the size of houses. Close your eyes, take a deep breath, and imagine yourself floating beyond the clouds, leaving the noise of the world behind. Up here, in the silence of space, there are no deadlines, no stress, no distractions, only the infinite, stretching in every direction. Tonight, I'll take you on a journey, a journey through the cosmos. We'll wander past stars and planets, through rings of ice and storms larger than Earth, across galaxies and into mysteries we still don't fully understand. And along the way, you'll discover something astonishing. That you are not separate from this vast universe. You are a part of it. You are made of it. Let's begin. Earth, our fragile home. Right now, you're sitting on a giant spaceship. We call it Earth. It spins at over 1,600 kilometers per hour at the equator, while orbiting the sun at nearly 30 kilometers per second. And yet, you don't feel it. That's because everything around you, oceans, forests, mountains, and even the air you breathe is traveling along with you. Every day, Earth is bombarded by around 100 tons of cosmic dust. Tiny particles from comets and asteroids sprinkle down through the atmosphere, so small that you don't notice. But if you look closely at a shooting star, that's one of them, burning in a final blaze before disappearing forever. And here's a thought to carry with you. Every drop of water you drink is billions of years old, it has traveled through clouds, rivers, oceans, and even through living beings before reaching you. A reminder that even on Earth, you are part of a cycle as old as time. The solar system, no. Imagine floating away from Earth, watching it shrink into a glowing blue marble. Past the barren craters of the Moon, past Mars. The red world where dust storms can last for months. If you stood there, the sky would appear butterscotch, and the sun would look only half as bright as on Earth. Jupiter is next. A planet so massive it could fit more than 1,300 Earths inside it. Its great red spot is not just a storm, it's a hurricane so large, three Earths could disappear into it. And it has been raging for at least 400 years. Imagine standing on one of Jupiter's moons, like Europa, staring at an endless sheet of ice. Beneath that frozen surface lies a vast ocean twice, as big as all the oceans on Earth combined. Could life be hiding there in the dark? Now Saturn, the jewel of the solar system, its rings, stretching thousands of kilometers wide, are made of icy fragments, some as small as sand, others the size of houses. If you could skim your hand across them, it would feel like brushing through frozen dust, glowing under the sunlight. And far beyond, Neptune spins in quiet blue. The winds there are the fastest in the solar system, up to 2,000 kilometers per hour. Yet in the silence of space, even that storm feels strangely calm. Stars the builders of everything let's drift away from the planets and head to the stars. Each star is a giant nuclear furnace. Every second, the sun produces more energy than humanity has used in all of history. And yet, stars are not eternal. They are born in clouds of gas called nebulous cosmic nurseries where gravity pulls dust and gas together until, one day, a star ignites. Have you ever seen the Orion Nebula? It's 24 light years across, a swirling canvas of pinks and purples, glowing like a cosmic painting. Inside, stars are being born right now, their light traveling thousands of years before it will ever reach Earth. And when stars die, they don't simply fade away. Some explode as supernovas, creating elements like gold, silver, and iron. The iron in your blood, the calcium in your bones, the oxygen in your lungs, all of it was once formed in the heart of a dying star. Which means this, you are literally made of stardust. Black holes the silent mysteries now. Let's journey deeper into the strangest objects in the universe. Black holes. Explore, think, feel, live. Welcome to Explorer, a channel where I dare to ask, discover, and reflect on all that life has to offer. 
Here I talk about spirituality, science, history, emotions, technology, culture, mysteries, and the human experience. Every video is a door to new ideas, deep questions, and moments that transform. If curiosity moves you, if personal growth inspires you, if you long to understand the why behind things, you are in the right place. I create videos that connect knowledge with life purpose. New content every week. Subscribe and ring the bell to join this community of curious minds. This is Explorer. Imagine a place where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. A region where space and time themselves are twisted beyond recognition. At the center of our galaxy, there's a black hole for million times the mass of the sun. It sits quietly invisible, with stars swirling around it like moths around a flame. And yet, without it, the Milky Way might not hold together at all. Some scientists believe that falling into a black hole might stretch you like spaghetti, a process they call spaghettification. Strange, terrifying, and yet, in the calm silence of space, even black holes feel less like monsters and more like reminders of how little we know. Galaxies' islands of light zoom out even further. Our Milky Way is home to about 200 billion stars, and yet, it's just one of trillions of galaxies. Some galaxies collide, merging into giant new shapes, their stars swirling like brushstrokes on a cosmic canvas. Others form spirals so perfect they look like nature's own artwork. If you could float between galaxies, you'd see that most of the universe is empty space, vast stretches of nothingness, broken only by distant clusters of light. And yet, in that nothingness, there is peace, a silence so complete, it could cradle you to sleep. The universe itself is, a thought to end with, the universe is still expanding. Every second, space itself stretches farther. Galaxies are drifting away from us, faster and faster, carried by the invisible push of dark energy. One day, far in the future, the night sky might grow empty as galaxies vanish beyond the horizon of what we can see. But for now, the stars are here, the galaxies are here, and you are here, breathing, listening, dreaming. And the greatest fact of all is this, every atom inside you, Every spark of thought, every beat of your heart, is the universe experiencing itself. So as you drift into sleep tonight, remember, you are not small. You are not forgotten. You are part of everything, forever connected to the stars. Hi, I'm Ellis Au and this is the Explorer Channel. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I never studied editing or owned sophisticated equipment. I've been learning little by little at home with an old computer, trying to make each video make sense and also to keep my mind, due to my age, from staring into space. I also recognize that this isn't my real face, but if you want to meet me, that's fine. Because I'm really embarrassed to appear on camera. I'm no longer 40 or 50, I'm much older. And for me, this channel isn't about fame or money. I have to say that last month I earned $3, so that's not my mission. This is just my way of moving forward in life, especially after losing my parents and realizing how lonely life can be sometimes, and that they're the only good thing I've ever had. That's why your support means so much to me. Please stay with me until the end of the videos. Keep this little dream alive and you'll give me the strength to continue living with some hope. And remember, it's always a pleasure to help someone who puts so much effort into bringing a little entertainment into your life through a channel like this. Especially when my interest is what I told you about before, feeling alive and even more so now when I'm going through a severe depression that keeps me separated from the real world, always here, locked up at home and without friends. Thanks, friend. Let's go, let's see what you think of my video today, and I'll always be waiting for your feedback on improvements or things to talk about.